Greetings, Earthlings. It is the 27th of December, 2020, and I'm excited. I could hardly sleep because uh, I went shopping again <laughs> uh, for fragrances. So last time we talked about aromatherapy, the power that it has, scent memories, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm <clears throat> enforcing that. <laughs> and I went to Burlington Coat Factory actually to do a return of a fragrance that I bought and had second thoughts about. Um, if you're interested in which two fragrances I returned, well, you can, you know, ask me in the comments and I'll tell you. Um, but when I went to do the return at Burlington Coat Factory, they had the sale of a lifetime. And so I snatched up a bunch of things. Um, things were anywhere between three ninety nine, dollars um, And I believe the most expensive one was $12.99, guys. So I didn't really break the bank. I don't want to hear about consumerism in America and all that. I, I was really frugal with my money. Um, and I wanted to review these fragrances um, in an effort to know uh, if you want to consider picking up these clearance fragrances for yourself. Um, <clears throat> I know uh, I'm doing much better now and uh, I'm working two jobs. I kind of figured out what living within my means is about. <laughs> so I know that I have to work two jobs in order to be able to afford the things that I want until I can find one job that can cover all the things that I need and want. Um, but right now we're talking about wants. So um, the, oh, I remember um, a time uh, before I decided that I needed to work a certain amount of hours and make a certain amount of money before I could figure this all out. Um, I remember a time where I couldn't purchase even I couldn't even purchase a six ninety nine perfume blindly. Like it would have to be something I already knew about. Like I didn't have money to waste and to consider. Um, you know, and the return policies are getting stricter and stricter now. So my goal in this video is to review these cheapy Charlie fragrances. Um, give you my feedback so you can decide whether you want to buy them if you see them and you're out and about. Um, because a lot of times we just pass by it because we can't take the financial risk. And I know that's like, sounds ridiculous, but when you're strapped for cash and you still need to treat yourself, you still need to live and breathe and enjoy life. So, um, you know, I'm going to help you do that. So I'm going to be eating <laughs> in between, and I know that's triggering for some people, but I didn't, I'll cut most of it out of the video. Um, oh, this one this way. I have all the fragrances from my previous, um, like the video I made about winter fragrances that I like, so I have to put those away. And I will, oh, what's this? Oh, violet wash eyeshadow. I got too much stuff on my desk. But anyway, um, I have a few things I want to do. I'm going to do the fragrance haul. I also have two Ipsy bags, two Ipsy bag and a uh, boxy charm add-on box to, to um, kind of review. I want to kind of do it all as one video, but maybe I should separate it. I don't know. You guys tell me. But the fragrance haul is definitely first because I'm excited about opening them. These fragrances that I got today, I believe it's about... 12 of them. These fragrances I got today, um, we are going to experience them together, online together today. Um, I've never smelled them. Some of them I've never heard of before. Um, I'm also going to do a page and page in a few minutes and show you the notes for each one. If it's on Frank, Frank Rinsey, I can't talk. I'm also going to show you the notes if it's on Frank Fragrantica. Fragrantica? Fragrantica. Yes, I can talk, I promise. Um, 
so yeah so i made eggs I ha i'm having breakfast for dinner because i just i'm not creative right now i ate all the leftovers from my mom's house so all the collard greens are gone <laughs> all the um all the turkey is gone she made shrimp um like a creole type of shrimp rice It's like the rice is yellow with if you if you know if you know our family if you've ever eaten with us then you know isis i know you know <laughs> but it's like this yellow rice with onions peppers bay scallops shrimp oh my goodness i ate all of it it's gone um so i'm just grieving the loss of the rice it's no more so i go back So I'm just eating back to basics, bread, eggs, and coffee. That's what, that's one of my favorite meals. I don't know why. <sighs> Does anybody find dieting to be just, look at my face, like evil, <laughs> overwhelming, um, just too much in general. I do. I don't, I don't want to be on the diet. Everyone has their own like drama, like uh, their own crap that they have to deal with. Like being a fat person, people are always walking up to me and giving me dieting advice as if I, I wanted it or needed it. Like I'm not a 10, a size 10. Like it doesn't, does it look like I'm trying? Does it look like I care? I don't. <laughs> um, but they just really want me to care so much about dieting. And they want to tell me about fasting and this and this and this, which I do do some fasting, some detox, some exercise, but it's not something that I'm into. And I think that's obvious, but anyway, um, I guess the other end of the spectrum is when you're very thin, people are always telling you what you need to eat in order to gain weight. And I think. I'm not going to get into this deep conversation about beauty standards, but I don't even want to, no, I don't want to talk about beauty standards. I want to talk about minding your own business. Can we all try that? Can we try it? No, because I don't walk up to someone and when I'm speaking with them, start to decide how I want to change them and start giving them advice about how, about the changes I want to make to them. That doesn't even, I never even consider it. Yeah. Try minding your business. And if you are the person who minds their business, encourage others to mind their business. Remind them. And we think that, oh, well, since I'm being social, that means I have to listen to this. That means I invited these comments. And it doesn't mean that at all. You can tell someone politely, no, thank you. On the other hand, I will tell you this. I appreciate gifts that lead me in the direction that you might be thinking of. I'm not so much a talker. I don't want to hear you talking about me going on a diet. However, if you give me a magic bullet, if you give me a blender that works, if you give me a juicer, which someone did and I appreciated it so much. And it actually did encourage me to make healthier, you know, drinks and smoothies and whatnot. So I appreciate gifts that move me in the direction, but I don't want to hear you telling me about diets. No, I also enjoy, um, grocery subscriptions. I enjoy those. You want to send me some organic something, something that's great. But don't tell me what to do with my money or my time. But if you want to help me make my life easier, that's fine. I appreciate that. Something that I have a 
Like, I think I have a deep rooted issue with that. I remember as a kid, I wrote a book about how to avoid being a slave, being slave, how to avoid slavery in the future. I was so upset by the whole concept of slavery and we we're going over it in class and I couldn't understand like, how did this happen? <laughs> how, how? Okay, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> Even as a kid, I'm like, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> I wrote a little book about how to how to avoid being a slave and the part of it was don't listen to anyone <laughs> which is bad advice we all have to like listen to each other a little bit and submit to our you know religious beliefs and whatnot like you have to listen to someone and maybe that's why when someone walks up to me and says I need to go on a diet I'm telling you what to do I don't want to I have seen these videos of people just eating. I think I, I probably am saying it all wrong. I think it's called mukbang or mukbang something. Oh, I I knew nothing about this whole thing. I I'm interested now. And the weirdest thing about it is that watching the video doesn't make me hungry. It seems to satiate my hunger. When I like see someone else like having a, mo a food moment, oh, I'm so happy for them. And I feel satiated as well. I've done three overnight shifts in a row, so I have to have coffee to survive. This, this is the last night. And then I get to actually rest. I was going to go on a trip to check on my property, like in the southern part of Virginia. But I don't know, like. I don't know. Um, I have a cousin whom I, I really love. I love my cousin so much. And I was so happy to spend time with her. Like she was, said she wasn't going to come. Something really bad happened in her life. And so she actually did come. And But the situation that she's going through, I don't want to put anybody else through it. And I don't want to experience it. And what I mean by that is her, her um, fiance or boyfriend, he recently passed away to COVID, I think. We can't prove it's COVID, we don't know, but he had a pre-existing thing. He went down there to visit some people, his mom, I believe, and he didn't come back. So it kind of made me think, do I need to travel? Do I need to put myself in harm's way? Do I need to put myself in a position where I could possibly come in contact with germs? Even more, I mean, I'm already an essential worker, so I'm going out <clears throat> and I'm working maybe that's enough exposure for now you know of course i wear my mask when i'm out um uh, i just wear you know the niqab thing it's the same same thing um of course the niqab is like a religious thing so i can wear it but i don't always wear niqab but i feel like i feel like it's best i've always felt like it was best but it's not, I don't feel like it's acceptable. We're going to get into that another time. But Niqab is very, um, what do you call it? Controversial issue for many people. But my personal preference is to cover I don't always. I kind of feel guilty about that sometimes. But I'm also made to feel guilty when I do cover. So it's very confusing, honestly.
but uh, when I go out, I wear a mask. Period. That's the point of what I was trying to say. Um, and I wear it religiously. I wear it once I step foot out the door, I wear it. And I try not to pull it down or take it off in public unless I have, you know, six feet of space and at the minimum. And um, also, I don't know if this is actually uh, like, I've never heard of anybody doing this besides myself, but I have like this alcohol spray um, and I spray it around the area. And like if, when I'm going to, when I'm going to have something to drink or something to eat, it means I have to take my mask off. Right. And so in my silly mind, I was thinking, okay, well, I don't know what kind of covid cloud of particles or whatever i don't know so before i take my mask off i spray the air it might be foolishness no one told me to do that there's no evidence blah 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 i just do it it makes me feel good <laughs> makes me feel safe it doesn't mean that it works I, I just do it so i spray the air wherever the area where i'm at before i take my mask off just in case i don't want to breathe in anything and blah blah um, last March, I was really, really ill, but my test results were negative. So I don't know if it was a false negative or what, but it was negative. But I tell you what, I don't want to feel like that again. And I heard they have uh, a mutation coming like several mutations which means even if you already got it you can get the mutation again I believe which to me is scary I was talking to my mom about that I was like the thought of getting sick again gives me the heebie jeebies so my point is I don't think I don't know if I'm going to be traveling or not yeah Wow, guys, sometimes you have to think about this stuff you, you you be doing. Say it out loud. Talk it out. Because I felt a lot of pressure to meet with him and see about the house and go meet with him. And just... I'm going to risk my life for a maybe. Maybe I might want to buy your house. Maybe. If this, if that. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to risk my life possibly contracting a disease because he maybe want to buy something. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm going to stay home. I really, really need to refresh and recharge before work, you know, before the next, next week. You know how it is when you have a, a new year, you want to, you know, start off running. You want to start off running. So I can't do that if I'm exhausted. Really, I want to turn that house into like my dream is to turn that house into a group home or halfway home. Like to help the community, help people. Now my number one dream is to have a safe house for domestic violence women in that house. That That's my goal. That, that would be my number one But I feel like there's so much that I don't know. And when I try to kind of delve into the nonprofit business, the grants, the this or that, I get 
really, really confused. And then I quit or, or postpone and postpone and postpone. So in several years, I've been um, trying to figure out how to do this, how to start this. And I'm a person who has great ideas, but not that much follow through. I need, um, I think I, I think I need a partner who's like the follow through and doesn't mind being the follow through. I'm great at writing. I'm great. So I'm great at grants and writing grants and requesting funds. And, um, I'm great. My writing skills are like amazing. Um, when it comes to things like that, but due dates i have no concept of, of time <laughs> none i'm terrible time management boo <laughs> organization oh god i need help but you want some idea you want some great ideas i got them i got great ideas i understand paperwork i understand legal processes First won't follow through. Imagine if I was gorgeous and and had all that organization. It was just too much for the world. We gotta have some flaws, right? Get forward. To the fragrance part, if that's all it came for. Which is perfectly fine. Use me and abuse me. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to listen to me. You just look at the fragrances. And I'm cool with that. I would like to increase my subscribers, but I'm so weird. I'm maybe it's my pride. Like I'm so weird. I just want it to happen organically. I don't want to be like, Hey, you subscribe to my channel. I just want you to like the content so much that you subscribe. That's what I prefer. That's what I want. i maybe I'm not that interesting and that's fine. I'm cool with that realization Milani one's from BH one's from Milani you know we're going to talk briefly about forgiveness as well as I open this um I had to forgive BH cosmetics because we had a serious issue with customer service and I didn't even want to mention them like I was going to do like a, a boycott type of thing. But I decided to kind of get over it. But they, they gypped me out of some money or some product that they were supposed to give me in my box that I ordered. I ordered a bunch of stuff from bhcosmetics.com or whatever. And they were supposed to put a free eyeshadow palette there and they... They didn't, but I spent the amount of money that I was supposed to spend. And so I was really, was really upset. And I went back and forth with customer service and they were like, but you added another coupon and that coupon and this and that. And we were just haggling over a $3 difference. Okay. You're supposed to spend like $59 in order to get the palette. I spent 57, 56, 56, 50 or something like that. Because I used a YouTuber code or something at the end. I thought it was okay to use a YouTuber code and uh, and also get the free palette because my subtotal was $59 as they asked. And also the YouTuber was saying that you can mix coupon codes, you know, coup coupon code and the offer and still get the offer and use the coupon code. So when it, when they, and when I pressed submit to the uh, thing, the, the free palette was in the cart. But when I went to check my email, they took it out. And I thought, oh, they'll, re they'll remember it. Like, I don't have to like make a comment. And then I got it in the mail and it was not there. And then I told them it wasn't there. And they were like, oh, that's, you know, too bad, too sad. And I just didn't like the energy that I was getting. You know what I mean? I would think that they should say, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, even if this is, since this is about money, you know, bottom line. Okay, if you pay the $3 uh, difference, 
we'll send the pallet right out or something like that. You know, we'll take the coupon on code off, but then you have to pay blah, 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 whatever. Cause the pallet was $12. So anyway, I was just irritated that we could not reach a solution using customer service. So I felt like, why did I call customer service? Why did I contact customer service? I don't know. Cause it was not customer service. It was just, you telling me what you're not going to do. So anyway, I got a BH palette that sold two of them, which are so beautiful. So I'm going to, I am going to discuss them, not today, but I, three of them, three palettes. I am going to discuss them, but not today. No, I am going to discuss them today because they're in my bag. I have one in my bag from Burlington that I got along with the fragrances, so I am going to discuss it. But I just have a bad taste in my mouth. Never experienced anything like that before. Like when I contact Ipsy or when I contact BoxyCharm, I have an issue. They fix it right away. And they are so nice to you over the, over the email. But not BH. Not BH. But I am going to show you their palette. But I'm not suggesting you order from them unless you're willing to deal with it and when I say willing to deal with it I'm saying the coupon code fiasco youtuber code fiasco stuff that goes on with BH okay so uh oh ipsy don't look at that this this is the ipsy bag Um, it's just a padded envelope. That's what it looks like. And I got the big one and also the little one because I had add-on. So the big one was my Ipsy, um, Ipsy Glam bag no ipsy bag just ipsy regular ipsy it is this cute little berber um bag it's so cute looks like a little baby lamb a pink one or a poodle skin or something like that i don't know yes i said poodle skin i meant fur leave me alone okay <laughs> so um inside this bag there's little goodies and when I say little goodies, I mean little, real little, little, Kiko, tiny, teeny. But anyway, this is a full size product. It's called Feel uh, Enzymatic Exfoliating Cleanser, which uh, it has 1% fruit enzymes and pumpkin seed oil exfoliating treatment. Reveals a radiant complexion. Uh, yeah. I'm just looking to see if there's anything, you know, really. Um, shell powder. I guess that's the exfoliant. Looks like um, apple extract. Lactic, it looks like lactic acid, papayas, and some other things, aloe. So I think this is going to be nice. I'm, I'm going to give it a whirl. Not today, not now, but I am going to try it. Um, I typically love anything with honey in it or beeswax. This is the Hey Honey. Uh, Twenty four seven honey day and night moisturizing cream for all skin types. You can put it on the face, the neck, and the eyes. It says it has anti aging properties, vitamin A and C. Uh, blah blah blah, radiant skin. So, 
Hey, honey cream. We're going to try that. I also ordered as a add-on for this particular bag, the Hey Honey uh, Facial Serum. So this is Honey Silk Facial Serum. All day nourishing. And it says you can use this one as a makeup primer, which is cute. Now, I already own this one. This is the Sunday Riley A+. This is a retinol cream, retinol serum, cream, serum, whatever. Oh, I cannot, I cannot keep talking about Sunday Riley. Anything Sunday Riley, that's what I, I want it. I have to have it. it. It's skincare that works, um, smells amazing, and contains like botanical ingredients mixed in. So I love it. Um... This is a retinoid, so it kind of refreshes the skin, lightens dark areas if you have any. Um, but it's not a lightener or a bleach. It's just like, um, what do you call it? Skin turnover, they call it. But it just refreshes your skin. That's nice. I like retinoids work for me. I also got this um, Estate liner eyeliner precision liquid liner so i'm not typically a fan of these like um sharpie marker type liners but it came in the bag and i will be trying it one day it's a white pencil with a gold tip it looks very very cute it's super fine that's nice give you a little so you can get a thin line or a thick one we're gonna see if that dries matte looks like it's drying matte that is super pigmented and um, it dries matte and it went on really smooth now the question is is this gonna go over eyeshadow really smooth that's the question, and I'll test it and let you know what I think another time. Okay, and the last um, product in the bag is something from IBY. I'm not familiar with the brand, but whatever. IBY, it's beautiful um, eyeshadow, and this is the packaging. It's uh, holographic packaging so beautiful I love that I'm a sucker for anything holographic um, this is the eyeshadow and yes it's shimmery I like the packaging because it's also shimmery like a shimmery nude glitter packaging you can't may not be able to see it really well what it is very pretty pretty packaging so I'm gonna give you a swatch of that next to this eyeliner beautiful so it's um it's a nude color it's leaning more salmon rose gold kind of color to me Beautiful though. You have to see what it looks like on the eye one day. Not today though. Not today. So I'm going to put all my little stuff back in the bag. I like to keep my stuff organized by, um, you know, by the, I put it back in the bag until I review all the products and then I can kind of change out my, swap out my favorites. If it's better than what I was using before, I'll swap it out in my um my cosmetic bag that I carry around. So that's this bag that this is the December bag and it was great. I loved it. I already reviewed it on um online. Now this I don't remember what this is called. This bag is so cute and glittery. Um I'm not a fan of 
like sequins. I didn't buy it for the bag, <laughs> but it's cute. So this, no, all of them drops. Okay. Now I bought this. Because I wanted this. That's why I bought it. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner Hydrating and Pore Refining. Um, it has watermelon, hyaluronic acid, um, willow bark extract, cucumber fruit extract, licorice root, cabbage, and many other um, wonderful things. So this is the reason I bought this 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 whole bag. Now in the bag with this, and this is a uh, 1.35 fluid ounces. So I don't know if that's full size or a small size. I don't know, but I like that size is fine with me because I don't know if I want a big, big size or not. Um, I also got these two items. Um, Dr. Frog Water Full Charge All in One. So I'm. this is, um to me, I guess, a cream and a, or a serum or something like that. I have to check more information about that another time. But um, after you wash your face, you just put this Dr. Frog on. And it's supposed to be, you know, make your life easy for you and um, moisturize the skin. And this one, this is a repeat buy. This is a repeat. Um, I bought this already. I love it. It is a hydrating facial cleanser. It's not a foaming cleanser, okay? It's more in the vein of a Pond's beauty cream or something like that. Um, it smells really good. It has a lot of, um, I believe, organic ingredients, I think. But anyway, it contains pomegranate peel, orange blossom, and carrot. And my, I love carrot for some reason in skincare. Um, I first started experimenting with carrot when I did... Um, when I first started to have hyperpigmentation, I used carrot seed oil or carrot oil or something. And I was amazed at the results. Raspberry, anything raspberry oil, carrot oil, I'm I'm down for it. I want to do it. I want to use it. I want it because it works. So that was the add-on bag, like an add-on. So this was like, I think $15 or something about that. So that's that. Oh, um, okay. I'm not trying to be mean when I say this. It, you know, some people might get upset. Uh, I'm not concerned about it, though, because I have to be honest. I'm always honest. I try to be anyway. Um, I got the new bag called Refreshments, okay? Now, I like this bag. It looks like a pair of pajamas. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's very cheerful. It came with wipes, face wipes. You get 30, you know, like a typical face wipe. And it came with hand cream. Okay. The hand cream has very little scent to it. And the wipes and stuff, where they're all supposed to be hypoallergenic and blah blah. Um, has banana fruit extract and this and that and the other. Um, this was free for the first month, so I tried it. And I got the hand cream and the wipes and the information about the program. Banish boring routines with extra clean and face and body essentials. Um, I think it costs eleven dollars. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be paying for that. 
The reason why is because wipes cost a dollar and hand cream can most of the time cost a dollar or two, maybe three. So that means one dollar, two dollars for wipes, three dollars for the uh, hand cream. That's five dollar value. It doesn't equal eleven dollars. So I'm really about my dollars and cents. I like to get. I like to feel as if I'm getting a value. So this didn't give me that feeling. Um, so I'm not going to be paying for wipes and whatnot. No, not not eleven dollars. I'm going to go to Ross or whatever and get my wipes because this is not it's not going to do it for me. Um, I I'm. I would have at least thought we'd get three products in the bag for $11. That's number one. And number two, the product should equal or exceed $11 that we paid. That's the whole point of the Ipsy bags. So um, I'm, I'm not going to do refreshments. I'm not doing it. And I like scented products, even if it's scented, naturally scented. I like scented products so to give me a hand cream with no smell I, no thank you no I'm not gonna do that today all right so sorry for the shade but I, that's how I feel um you know maybe they'll improve maybe that was just because it was free um but it wasn't a good intro sorry Okay, so um, I also did another add-on, and I got these two shadows. Um, one is from Nomad, Nomad Shadows, and this is the Antilles Blue Lagoon. It is so beautiful. I'm wondering if it's going to pull if it's going to show up a little bit green on my um, eye. But this is so blinding. Wow. It's it's a shimmer. It's a it's a, just a beautiful shimmer. It's not um it's not duochrome. It's just blue. So that's that and it comes in a little single shadow no mirror in it I mean you don't need a little mini mirror and then um now this is the huh this is what brand is this Complex culture. Okay. Complex culture in the shade champagne. If you can see, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Champagne. Now, I got a lip gloss or something from them that I hated. But I'm not writing them off as an entire brand because this was redeeming. This is the shade. And I tried it last night. It is absolutely beautiful. So this does not really show you what it's about. I'm going to do another swatch next to the other IBY shadow. This is so bright on the eyes. Can you see that? I think you can see. You see I know you see it. It's so bright. It's another very light rose gold shade. Um, but it is beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, it looks very natural on the eyes. Uh, oh, I need to swap. Let me swatch this for you. Oh my God, the blue one is what I'm talking about. Oh. 
So here was the Blue Lagoon Champagne by Complex Culture and IBY over here. And then the liner. Ooh, wow. No smearing. That's the liner from the state. Wow. It's not going nowhere. I like that. Y'all, this liner is not coming off. I'm using a wipe. Look at that. It's not moving. That's crazy. I'm really having to scrub this liner off. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of thing I like. Wipes are not scented at all. I think that maybe that's what they're going for. And that's cool, but that's not what I want. The, I'm talking about the refreshments, um, you know, add-ons with uh, Ipsy. Maybe they're going for like, you know, unscented, hypoallergenic, blah, 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 which is fine for some people, but I don't want unscented products. Okay. One more thing before we do the fragrances. This is delayed gratification for real right here. I am really stalling, aren't I? All right. So I got another eyeshadow I need to show you. Um, I also ordered these. These are so cheap. There was a two-pack of the Biro um, Tomato Serum. I used that today. That's what I have on my face right now. It's just, um, I use it when I, after I wash my face, I just throw it on. It has just the right amount of moisture in it. And um, it's also like, a, what do you call it? Brightening, you know, kind of to lift the hyperpigmentation. Because you can, I don't know if you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup today. So you can see how bad it is. I have dark spots a lot. So, um, it's, it's helping a lot. If you, anyone who knows me well, knows how it was dark, really dark here. It's better. It's so much better than it was. You guys, I don't know if you guys know about soul touch of soul. Um, this is the glassy skin balm. Ooh. You guys. I'm trying to tell you, I was sleeping on, um, I was sleeping on them. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's just a cream. It, it, it's thick, very thick. Um, this is the most one of the most luxurious creams I've used in a long time. And when they tell you, I'm going to use it right now, actually. I just love using it. I love using it. Mm, it just feels so good. It's like you're giving your skin a drink of water. And your skin is like, thank you. <sighs> Now, this is called Glassy Skin Balm for a reason. Look at that. Now, um, wow, look at that. It looks like I have on like highlighter or something. It's, I'm not wearing any makeup. It's just skin cream. You'd be surprised how much skincare can make you look so much better without makeup. Just skincare. So, and I also like to put it on my lips like a lip balm or chapstick, something. In the winter, it's so cold. So cold. So, look at that. Okay. So that's the skin balm. I like it. I love it. 
Anything, anytime I see touch a soul, I'm going to buy it right up and not even think about it. They, I got two products from them so far from BoxyCharm. I would have never, without BoxyCharm subscription, I would have never known anything about them. However, they were on QVC. So maybe I should have been paying attention because I like QVC products too. But to be honest, um, I was avoiding QVC. And if you like QVC like I do, you know why you're avoiding it. Because you want to have some money. Because they make you believe that you need all of that stuff and you don't. So I don't even go on QVC anymore. Um, but when I looked on the advertise, like at different um, videos for to learn more about Touch and Soul, I saw that they were on QVC and I saw the QVC like production of them. So I got, oh, I start opening the next thing without even saying. This is the Dose of, Dose of Colors, My Jam. Um, I think this is the Block Party Shadows, I believe. Yeah. This is the back of the eyeshadow, Block Party Eyeshadows. And uh, and this one comes with a little mirror. I'm so excited by that. That's so cool. Um, on the website, it was showing that it's purple. But to be honest with you, um, I did swipe it once. This is maroon. This is burgundy. So I'm, I am going to swatch it for you. Now, regardless of the color, I, of what color you want to argue that it is, it is beautiful. Um, it just is unpredictable. It's not what I thought. Um, I thought it was going to be like Jessica Rabbit type purple you know, shadow, and it's not, it's not that kind of purple. It, it almost leans brown, as you can see, but it has this nice glitter running through it. It's pretty, but it's not purple, as you may have thought. It's more of a burgundy brown maroon color, color, raisin color, which is nice. It's just not what I expected. But it's beautiful. So there's that. Now let us begin with the fragrances. And this bag. It's a little bag. And this bag. Oh. I was recently inspired to try something that I tried before um, a long time ago when I was a kid. I don't know why I wanted to do this. I, I don't have the answers to this. But I thought about scent memories, I think, and I somehow led me to one of my favorite scent memories, and that was Britney Spears' fantasy. Now, I loved Britney Spears' fantasy perfume. Loved it when I was a young girl, like 13 or something. I don't even know. I don't even know what, how old I was. Uh, but I loved it. Oh, I need to put up, pull up the uh, Fragrantica website for you on my other screen. But I loved Britney Spears so much, the, the fantasy perfume. And um, I wanted to experience it again, but there's a problem. I couldn't wear the perfume. It made me nauseous and have headaches. So I never could wear it. So I have, I think, been searching all my life since that moment to find a gourmand that I could wear without being sick and nauseous, headache, sick and nauseous, um, eyes burning and all of that sort of thing. So I decided to try 
some other Britney Spears um, fragrances today. Okay, so I'm going to give you my first impressions. I only bought that one fantasy, but there are many fantasies. As you know, if you know anything about Britney Spears, you know she has a million different perfumes. Um, and most of them have the word fantasy in it. <laughs> so there's so many, and I figured maybe one of them is for me. Um, also, in doing my research on that and watching some videos, and I will link the video that I watched watched of this guy he just apparently loves Britney Spears okay and he has the whole lineup and also while I was doing the and he reviewed each and every one of them it was called like fragrance knockout I thought it was really cool I might steal his idea and do a fragrance knockout one day um but of all my fragrances not just um Britney Spears but anyway he just lined up all his fragrances and um from favorite number one all the way to 25 and explained why he liked each one increasingly um in increasing order started from the bottom so i'm thinking about trying that one day if you guys want to watch um what was i saying oh she came out with something else i think it's called prerogative or something like that and another one rave or something like that so i'm gonna I found them and I'm going to, I'm going to try them all. The new one, which they said is more sophisticated. I'm going to try that. And I'm also going to try some of her oldies, but goodies that I have never tried because I was afraid it would give me a headache. Um, I did try Midnight Fantasy in the store, but it was highly overpriced um, and I was unable to purchase it. It only came in a toilet and I wanted a parfum. So I left it in the store. Um, it was like $24 for one spray. And I was like, no, thank you. This is Britney Spears, honey. Britney Spears, calm down. So um, she's not getting much of that anyway. So I'm not doing that. Um, and in my travels, I found this, the Zodiac Pisces palette from BH. Remember I said I was going to talk about BH? Um, this is the palette. It's like on a holographic background. And the theme is kind of a, a brownish green kind of situation. Yeah. So you have like an aqua, um, some brown, a bluish, tealish. Got some very interesting colors. I don't know how they're going to look on the eye. We're going to try it another time. But I did find this and it was like $5 or something like that. So I got that. And I also have, I found uh, the Zodiac Aquarius. So I'm going to be trying both of these in another video. Not today. Not today. Um, all right. So also there's another YouTuber named that I watch who's with fragrances called Sarah. And she recommended this one. This is a men's fragrance, but she said it was very feminine. So I'm hoping that it is. And then these are the first two uh, Britney fragrances. Uh, Phantom, Fantasy Intimate Edition and Britney Steer, Spears Believe. All right, so... This is supposed to be a beautiful bottle, <laughs> but it is supposed to be a, I need to get something. It's supposed to be a fruity patchouli, so a fruit chuli. Pause that thought. We'll be right back. It says it has some tropical notes. That's interesting. Oh. I think I showed you the box. This is the box. And this is the liquid. 
This reminds me of one of the angel um, bottles that they had. So I don't know. I'm weird. I always shake up my perfumes that have been, that I suspect are old. I'm not saying it's old, but you know, with Burlington, Coat Factory and stuff, it's probably clearance, whatnot, whatnot. So I shake it just to make sure all the stuff that's supposed to be there is mixed in the way this should be. All right, let's spray this cap. Let's see what it's about. Ooh, I'm nervous. Oh, let's take a look at the notes again. Like the specific notes. So I'm tell you if I really smell that. Guava tangerine, lime blossom honeysuckle, patchouli, praline, and amber. So those are like some of my favorite things. So I can't imagine that I won't like it, but let's see. Oh, that's so lightweight. It's, it's, um, it's light. It's very light. It's not heavy. It's nice. This reminds me of the one with the, the um, I think it's polo with the, the blue horse, the blue polo kind of reminds me of that. I don't get, I'm not getting praline. I'm not getting any, any amber. So you can forget that. I don't know where they get, said that is at. I'm getting the lime, the tangerine, guava. I do not smell honeysuckle. Um, I do not smell praline or amber or patchouli, really. It's straight up citrus. And that is nice and refreshing. It's It smells like, to me, similarly, it puts me in mind of a, of a mojito. I don't drink anymore, but um, mojito is what that reminds me of. Um, and definitely, definitely, definitely summer. So it's kind of thrown me off because it's so summery, but I like it. I like it. Um, and I'll be able to tell you whether or not, like, you know, as, as life goes on, <laughs> I'll be able to tell you whether I decide to, to uh, I'm keeping it. It's a keeper. But I'll just tell you whether I'm deciding to, like, repurchase it, use it all up and repurchase, or it was nice and that's all I need. We'll see. But I am going to keep that one. I like it. So let's throw that in the basket, in the keeper basket. Next one is Intimate Fantasy. All right, this is Vanilla Fragrance. Already know I should love it because I love me some vanilla, y'all. Mm, I love. I, I've been use I've been using vanilla fragrances for so long. My first one of my first uh, fragrances besides Britney Spears Fantasy was Cody Vanilla Musk. Okay, so that is a classic for me. That was my signature fragrance all through high school, 1998. Uh, so I, I love vanilla, so I should like it. It's on the top of the list. Vanilla. Sweet, powdery, musk, ozonic, fresh, citrus, white, floral, amber, fruity. So let's see what we got here. Oh, no. I The reason why I said oh, no is because I typically don't like lychee. Ooh. We're going to try it. It's lychee, lemon, violet. Brown sugar, ozone, Jeanette, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Vanilla, White Musk, Heliotrope, and Benzoin. Or Benzoin. What is Jeanette? Oh, that is a creepy little critter. Hmm.
not very many fragrances have that. Interesting. Okay. We're going to give it a whirl. We're going to give it a try, y'all. This is the bottle. This is the cap. Very beautiful. White with uh, little beads on it. Little rhinestones. They're probably going to fall off. I heard that they fall off. I don't know. Oh, okay. That is different. Let me get a piece of paper for this. That is so different than what I expected. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. This... Uh, this has nothing... First of all, this has nothing to do with Britney Spears' fantasy. I mean, it's called fantasy, but it has nothing to do with that. This is a lemon... This reminds me of a lemon, like when you go to lemon freeze with ice cream in it, like when you go to um, like Chick-fil-A or yeah, this is like lemon and ice cream. If you mix the, if this is lemon and a lemon ice cream or cause it's not sherbet. Sherbet is really, you know, coming at you. This is creamy. I love this. This is nice. This is really nice. This is good. Okay, I'm keeping this. I am keeping that. And I'm, I'm not feeling headachey yet. I don't feel that headache smell. That is really nice. I know what it is. It's that it's a it's that Italian lemon because it smells like lemon cello, um, which is an alcoholic beverage from Italy. Very nice, which I do not partake in anymore for the past several years. And once I convert it, no more of that. And I, I don't miss it, but the smell is very nice. I love the smell of that. It smells like lemon cello. And the violet leaf is giving me some Lolita Limpica type vibes, but this has nothing to do with Lolita Limpica. Don't, don't even think that it, it does, but it just, it's giving me those vibes. But this is very nicely made. I like this. I like it a lot. Next thing we're going to try is Legend. Okay, and like I said, this is the men's fragrance. Okay. Mm. Coffee, amber, warm, spicy, anise, woody, lavender, musky, spicy, patchouli, and amolic. Okay, so like I said, coffee, amber, anise, lavender, patchouli, Leathery musk, cedar, which I love cedar, bergamot, tea, and oak moss. So, um, Sarah, if I don't like this, it's your fault. <laughs> Sarah doesn't know me. She's in my care. But she said that this is feminine. Enough. Feminine enough. She got it at Mercari in some kind of grab bag type, you know. Like a, like a multiple pack of stuff, you know, what do you call it? I don't know. I call it a grab bag. That's what it is. So anyway, she got a bunch of fragrances. She wanted only one of them, but she got a bunch and this was in the bunch 
and she just tried it for laughs and giggles and it ended up being nice and she says she um likes it and i tend to um like some m more masculine fragrances like such as mark jacobs decadence which is can be seen as you know a masculine fragrance i like that so we're gonna see if this is truly what she said it is trusted you I mean, look at the ingredients. It shouldn't be bad. Who doesn't love coffee? That's in black opium. And I, you know, everybody loves that. Anise, I love that. I like fennel tea. It's so good. Lavender, everybody loves that. Something I just bought has lavender in it. Oh, Seductive Muir by Guess. So, I mean, and that one's definitely like that. So let's see. This is the box. Oops. This way. With his little head on it. With the little Mac Jordan head. To be honest, this packaging is horrible, but it's cool. Whatever. This is the bottle. It's got that little silhouette dump. Kind of phallic. I don't I don't like this packaging. Let's let's just see what it's about. Oh, she was right. Okay. Okay. This, this is like, this is similar to, I like this. This is similar to, um, if you've ever smelled Dark Temptation by Axe, body spray type thing, this smells like that which is seems like it could be unisex as well um i smell a little bit of coffee i'm smelling caramel it doesn't list caramel but i smell caramel coffee amber anise yeah this is nice i like it and It's not strong. It's not strong, so it won't like, no one will know you're wearing men's. They'll just be like, what is that? Wow, it just fades out. It's not strong at all. So you, you don't have to worry about smelling like a man. It just doesn't give you that. It also smells soapy. It smells like soap. Yeah, I love that. I love this. I see why she liked it. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, oh good. You did that. She was right. Sarah was right. I trust you, Sarah. You were right. I trusted you before. I blindly trusted you. And you were right. Okay, this is good. It's, it is a men's fragrance, but it is, to me, unisex. Um, it's light enough so that it does not offend, you know, it's not offensive and you can't, um, it's not going to overpower. I would like to have more vanilla in this. So for me, I would be adding some kind of a vanilla to this to make it, to balance it out and make it more feminine. But this is nice. It's a nice, pleasant smell. Okay, next. This is the one I feel like I took a big risk on. I'm going to use my right hand. Kenzie Life Beat. I took a big risk. The reason why I took a big risk is because it contains Cassis as a note. And I typically do not like Cassis because Cassis typically smells like K 
cat pee. Um, I don't like it. It's like when you're walking through, if you've ever walked through a forest or something and you brush up against certain kind of weeds and you just get this kind of off-putting smell, that's what Cassis smells like. An off-putting green smell. Um, but this says that it's sweet, fruity, vanilla, powdery, woody, fresh, citrus, white, floral. So we'll see. I'll give it a try. Um, it might be something really unique that I end up liking, or it might be a total bomb. We'll see. I don't know. It's, like I said, it's a risk that I decided to take with this one. Because the lady was like, no returns. I was like, whoa, you can put this one back, honey, because I don't know if I'm going to like this already. I don't even know. She was like, no, I was just kidding. I was like, mm-hmm. That's what I felt. As long as you have your receipt. And you, you don't want to lose them dollars, do you? Talking that junk can't return. Yes, I can. You got open boxes on the shelf right now. Burlington, sometimes they be tripping. But their return policy is tripping. All right. They got stuff with no box at all. Just open perfumes. They sell them. So leave me alone, lady. Oh, this is a pain in the be in the boom, 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 boom. This packaging. This big old box. How many ounces is this? Oh, this is a 3.4 ounce um container. It's got so many notes in it. Sometimes when you have so many notes, they just get lost. Friends starting to text me, but I'm not going to answer until I get to work. I got 30 minutes to hurry up and do the rest of these fragrances. But I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. All right, Kenzie. I don't know Kenzie. Some of you may know about it. I don't know. So this is the first for me. This is the bottle. Huge bottle. The back has these little cute musical notes mixed in with the sounds. Very nice. Oh, oh, I'm already smelling something that I like. Let's see. Okay. I was talking junk earlier. Oh, yes, honey. Yes. Oh, this is it. I'm glad I got I'm glad I got 3.4 ounces of this. Mm, mm. Okay. Hi Kenzie. Oh. oh, oh, this is so good. I'm trying not to. Yo, this is emotional. This is emotionally, amazingly happiness in a book. You guys, why is it that the cheaper ones are always the ones that give you life? Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, yes. Okay. I love it. I do not regret this at all. If I see another one, I'm going to grab it. This is such a beautiful, beautiful. Okay. You want me to describe it? Okay. Okay. Let me calm down. 
I'm going to start crying for real. I smell fruit, of course. I smell citrus. Um, I don't get peaches. I don't get the, the I don't get the cat pee note. It smells fresh and green. I smell a little bit, tiny bit of coconut. I think the coconut gives it that warm um, kind of vanilla-like flavor because I don't, oh, vanilla is in the base. That's, I do smell a lot of vanilla. I smell sugar, musk. Um, I'm not getting a whole bunch of patchouli. I smell magnolia. Vi this is, this is, this is everything. It's everything. It's everything. It's keeping, it's, I'm keeping it. And it is everything. That's it. Period. Period. Okay. Next. Jennifer Aniston, chapter two. Let's look up the notes for that. Okay, this should be right up my alley as well. Musky, white, floral, powdery, woody, aquatic, floral, citrus, aldehyde, 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 excuse me, amber, fresh. Okay, so it should smell like waters, coconut, lavender, mandarin, Gardenia, Oris. I love Oris. I love Gardenia. I love Jasmine. So anything has that, I typically love it. So I'm thinking I'm going to love this. So let's, let's get into it. Let us get into E. Le fragrance. I'm gonna try the top, looks easier. Oh, this is annoying. <sighs> this bottle is giving me like old school 1990 vibes like look how cheap this bottle is but it's okay I like the bottle but I'm just saying it reminds me of the 90s but it's Jennifer Anderson so what do you expect this is okay Neither, neither hate nor love, just okay.
it's okay. It's definitely water. It's very light. It's very, very light. It's, it's light. It's, it's uh, decent. You know, it's good. It's okay. I don't know how to describe. It's, it's decent. Um, you get mostly water. Um, I'm not getting coconut milk. I'm getting some lavender. Not that much orange. Not that much orange at all. Getting a little jasmine, gardenia, gardenia and orange, but it's not rich. It's it's not rich and creamy. It's just there. And then the musk is there. I, it's okay, but it's not uh, nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home about. It's okay. I, I'm on the fence. We're going to see. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put this over here for now. I got it on my hand. It's not bad. It's 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 just okay. You know? Next. It's good for like an office. You know, day. nobody will know you're wearing it. It's, it's very like clean smelling nice um it's okay it's not bad at all really i don't want you to think like oh she's not happy about it it's just because it doesn't excite me but it's not bad the next one wild bloom by banana republic i'm gonna get see what that's about That is supposed to be a fruity, floral citrus with a powdery, fresh, sweet, musky, leather, tropical, aquatic vibe. Um, guava. The reason I got this is because I love kumquats so much, like in real life. So I thought maybe I would like it, you know, in this format as well. So let's give it a whirl. It has guava, pear, and kumquat, grapefruit, camellia, orchid, hortensia, champaca, a leather suede type of note, sandalwood musk, oud, patchouli, and tonka, which I love. The, the notes that I love are tonka, guava, pear, and kumquat, and I typically like grapefruit as well. An orchid. So we're going to see if those can balance out the other notes that I really don't care about. This is the bottle. It's decent, you know, generic. Giving me Fifth Avenue vibes. Oh. Oh, it's a party. It's a party. It's a party for my nose. My nose is having a party. And guess who's invited? Guava, pear, kumquat, and grapefruit. <laughs> this is nice. It's a party. It is. It smells like a party. It smells like a tropical party. I love it. That's nice. That's nice. 
that is balanced that is that is beautiful i love it um it's not typically what i would go for to be honest with you um because like i said i'm a vanilla person and i'm also it's winter time this is summer this is summer all day this is but this is beautiful this is beautiful i love this this is worth it worth 7.99 Okay, we have next is, I believe this is called Fiori by Vince Camuto. Let's see what that is about. Fruity, powdery, citrus. I've never smelled a Vince Camuto fragrance that was bad, so I'm guessing this is going to be good. This was the most expensive one. I'm struggling trying to get this box open. the packaging is always so cute it looks just like that just like that very cute yeah it looks like a little pentagon shape i think okay let's spray her up It's cute. Very delicate. Very cute. Nectarine. I do smell that. Fellini pink grape grapefruit. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's very pleasant. It's a very pleasant smell. I'm not getting yes, Iris. The jasmine's very muted. It's cute. I like that. That's cool. I'm going to keep it. That is nice. Um, I believe that is for sure a spring fragrance. I would not wear that now in the dead of winter. Okay, this is one that I... Um, This is one that I was kind of curious about. This is uh, Trisha Yearwood. Amber, musky, woody, powdery floral, and a molic.
Let's see what the notes are. I'm going to scroll down. Now that I got this sucker open. Oh. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> Amber, musk, woody notes, flowers, and peach. Oh, no. It broke. Okay, let's hope I can still spray it, guys. I broke it. It's not, it, it's not, it's, it's not their fault. It's my fault. Okay. I think, I, I think it'll still work. Hold on. Pop it. Oh, y'all, this is so nice. This is a good peach. I, in my opinion. This is exactly what it says. Okay. I smell musk. Amber, tiny bit of wood, tiny bit of wood. I smell maybe roses or peony and then a nice peach. That's nice. I like that. That is pleasant and light and I'm going to keep that. I like it. Trisha Yearwood. I wouldn't, I don't think I would like buy a million of them and like rush to get them, but I, I do like it and I appreciate it. Especially for that price. <laughs> Next one. I am so excited to try this. Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. struggling with these boxes oh okay woody floral fruity musky spicy powdery fresh green amber herbal okay that's a lot of promises let's see what we got the aerial version was um very lightweight very interesting smell i'm still keeping it even though it's not my fave Okay, this is the Princess Cinderella. It's so cute. Big old bottle. Let's see if it's worth having a big old bottle of it. Okay. I don't, I don't smell any apples. I don't know where that went to. This smells like forest. If you could just, this smells like forest. It smells like, I smell cedar. That's all I smell. I only smell cedar. Um... Do I like it? Yes, because I like cedar, but that's all I smell is cedar. So, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Disney. You just put anything in a bottle and just anything. Here you go. It's Cinderella. <laughs> oh my God. Cut it out. You know, it should, I would think. And who am I? I'm not a fragrance designer. But I would think Cinderella doesn't smell like a piece of wood. 
I don't think she smells like that. I don't know. It's just me. I don't think Disney princesses smell like wood. I don't think so. Okay, this is Rave. Prerogative Rave. By Britney Spears. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this was on sale. And uh, somebody stole the cap. It's missing the cap. So I'm just going to spray it wherever I want to. Yeah. Wow, no cap. See? Oh, let me give you the notes. I forgot. But I'm rushing. Rave by Britney Spears. Where is it? I don't want to have to sign in just to do this. Don't, don't do this to me. Here we go. Fruity Woody Floral, Sweet Powdery Musky Citrus Amber Spicy. Let's see what we got here. Raspberry Pear Mandarin Freshia Lily Jasmine Sandalwood Cedar and Musk. Oh, baby. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that is, that is, that is everything. That's everything. That's everything. Okay. I don't really have that much time. I got to speed through the last couple. This one is wonderful. I get the raspberry. I get the pear. Fresh is everything. Everything is coming together and it's blended so nicely and I love it. It's sweet, but not like sickly sweet. Not like the kind, like I've told you before, that gives you a headache. Wow, so far only one dud. The Jennifer Aniston one is the so far the one that I just can't do. You know what, guys? I think, yeah, I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, six more fragrances to review. So I'm going to stop here. Um, I got to go to work. So I'm going to stop right here. And when I come home from work, I'm going to do part two. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that, um, Something I said or something I smelled helped you in some way. <laughs> and um, that that rave by Britney Spears and that Kenzie. Oh, I don't even know which one I want to wear first. I really don't know. I'm confused. They're both so amazing. So um, I'll come back and do my other six fragrances in the morning. Thank you for watching and have a great day great day.